and uh, we're just talking about our history with homesteading and if we had to do it all over again what would we do different or would we do it at all What's that cat's name? That is... Uh, Doppelganger? No. The first one. Well, I can't remember now because Doppelganger was named Doppelganger because she looks like that one. But that's the original? <laughs> the OG? <laughs> that's the original. So um, what are we talking about? Why... Reasons or no? What would we would do? What would we do different if we had to start over? Yeah. Um. So it's been like eight years. Eight years home study. About that. Has it been eight? Because we've been here five. Did we do it at Garden City for three years? No, I feel like we started after Weston was born. We did because. We had a whole conversation about transportation supplies if the truck stopped running with my dad and that led to aquaponics and then we started from there yeah yeah so after like eight years then if you had to start everything over homesteading all over if you had to do it all over again would you still do it i would yeah but what would you do different than if you could? Would you do it exactly the same? No. For me, I think I'd rely less on what I thought I knew coming from a farm in my background. Like, for example, the fact that I've grown up building fences, horse fences, cattle fences, and those kinds, and then to do goats. And it's like, oh, I start over because I don't know anything. So goat fencing is not, it's not like... Fencing cattle then? No. No. It's like an analogy that I heard from, um, I can't remember who said it, but basically if you can throw a bucket of water through the fence, then it won't hold a goat. And I think that's true because it is frustrating. But I love having goats because they're a lot of fun, but fencing them is a challenge. So that for me, I'd start over with like not relying on, some of the old knowledge that I had from growing up on the kind of farm and ranch I did. Because, yeah, farming and ranching is quite a bit different than homesteading. A lot different. The way we live now is nothing like the way I grew up living in the country. Like, um, I know that we didn't have chickens and we never had a garden until my sister and I insisted on having a garden. But we we didn't do a fraction of what we're doing. So growing up on a farm and a ranch, you just did like your one thing, right? Like yeah, we were we were a wheat it. we were a wheat farm and cattle ranch. Like that was basically it. And everything else, like all of it, come from the grocery store. You still went. Yeah, everything. Got all your food from the grocery. The store. The only thing that we didn't buy from the grocery store was meat, and we get sweet corn from my great uncle in the summer. But past that, everything came from the grocery store. The eggs, the milk, the cheese, produce of all kinds. I mean, everything. Yeah. But we had our own meat, beef only. That's it. And that's just because my dad would butcher one that was like the animal that we were going to butcher that year. So how about you? What would you do different or would you do it the same? Um, so doing it over again, I would still do it. I'd still do all the homesteading and I would do things differently. I think that um, I would focus on long-term things maybe first. Mm, that's a good idea. Like perennials? Yeah. And trees? Because and I think we started like, oh, what like short annual plants can we start with to get quick food fast or whatever? I think I would focus on like things like fruit trees first yeah. and getting those in the ground because then you know five years later you have a decent amount of food coming in that you don't have to replant and replant 
Right. So I, like I think that. I would focus on trees, especially in Kansas where we're at and not very much trees. I think I would do a heavy focus on trees first and like a forest garden or a food forest concept first. Even though you're not going to have as much food right away, it's going to build more food into the future that is just much more maintainable. Right. Jaguar. This one's Jaguar. Oh, That's yeah. Jaguar. That's right. Hey, Drum, are you comfy? And I would collect more cats. No, I wouldn't. I would just... <laughs> I was going to say, because what do we have now? 14? Um, I don't know. I thought nine. that's what the kids said. Oh, nine? I don't I, know. It's out of control. But... Hey, drum. Speaking, here yeah, comes Mama guess. Cat. Yeah. Maybe. I guess that's country life. For they sure. Build it, they will come. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, I, uh, I have definitely learned a lot, but... Because it's not, I know it's how people used to live, but it's certainly not how we grew up. It's not how many people live anymore, although it's it's gaining steam, clearly. Mm -hmm. But it's still not normal, even in rural America where we live. Everybody still relies mostly on the grocery store and not on doing things themselves. Even out in the country, even all the farming neighbors we have and everything else, not very many people do any of the things that we do. At least around here, a lot of people have chickens, though. They do. That's There's chickens. a lot. You don't have to drive too far to find someone with eggs. No. Which I think that, you know, that's what we had thought when we first moved here is maybe sell. Sell eggs. Sell eggs is supplement income, but there's so many people here with eggs, it's not worth it. Right. And I think if you were to homestead, but you couldn't do chickens, like if you're in a more city area, I think that that's something you could still do is find somebody who it has chickens and, you know, I think that that's a good point right there is realizing that we didn't need to, and I'm not saying not moving here wasn't a good idea, but we could have done more homesteading in the city without moving then we realized like right. when we lived in town prior to living here there was so much more we could have done and knowing what we know now would have made it so much easier so right i i think that if i would have it to do over again that would be one thing like you don't necessarily need to be in a rush to go find land because you can do a lot where you live even if you're in the city right yeah but i absolutely am thrilled that we have this much to work with because it's made things a lot easier because we have so much space possibilities right? yeah yeah so i guess if you were to summarize what we would do different that's how you would yeah. explain it just like more slow growing get perennials get trees going right away bushes like things like grapes fruit trees nut trees yeah and realize i didn't have to be in a hurry like you said to get to the country to think i could do more Understand we could have could do it in in town we could have slowed down and done research and understood like oh wow there's so much we could do here where we're at exactly yeah but so if you were going to give somebody advice on homesteading or starting a self-sufficiency path, what would you tell them? I would say start where you are and grow from there because there's so much you can already do that you yeah. just aren't aware of because you haven't done it that way yet. Be patient with yourself is something I would highly encourage. Yeah, because it's just society in general. We haven't been thought to think of ourselves as self-reliant anymore. So we we automatically do the things we've always done instead of trying to think outside of the box and doing it a different way. Yeah. That's my way. You're calling it What would you tell somebody who was wanting 
to start homesteading? Do it. Start just in anything. Just start researching it. Start by growing some potted plants in your in your apartment or house or whatever, and research and take your time. But there's tons of resources out there to learn from, and take your time and research it all. Yeah. So that's definitely what I'd say. And get cats. Yeah, preferably ones that don't eat your hand. Yeah. Maybe one or two cats, not nine or 14 or whatever it is we have. We really didn't even like buy these cats. They just end up wherever a farm is at. They just end up there. So mm -hmm. you just either take care of them or some people don't, I guess. Yeah. We always had farm cats. They're good for eating varmints, creatures. And they're good companions. Yeah.